Gases come up into your eyes and liquids that have evaporated. They come up into your eyes and make them water. An onion epidermis is um, a, a skin. It's skin, a protective layer. The epidermis is the outer layer which um, protects from uh, um, well, a bunch of things. Dehydration is one of them. There's three skin layers to the human body. The first one, the hypodermis, the second, dermis, and then the last one, epidermis. The epidermis is the outer layer of the onion. It is, well, what you chop off and then to get to the juicy insides. The onion epidermis is a waterproof layer that protects from dehydration. The epidermis is responsible for the skin tone and color. The skin's color is created by a special cell that produces a pigment called melanin. An onion epidermis has clear cells with one layer and it does not contain any chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are required for photosynthesis in plants. Onions store energy in their bulb and do not process photosynthesis in this body. Thus, we don't see chloroplasts. Carbon dioxide Side enters the plant at roots, leaves, and well branches. Oxygen is released from the same tiny holes after photosynthesis. Plant anatomy is the meaning for the research of the plant's internal organs. Phytotomy can also be the word for that. Photosynthesis is, well, sun, water, and carbon dioxide, CO2 for short. The sun mixed with water and carbon dioxide make a giant chemical reaction which make carbohydrates and oxygen. Carbohydrates are also sugar! Oxygen is important because we have to breathe it in and if there was no oxygen, nobody would have lived here. Even the dinosaurs wouldn't be here. We have a symbiotic relationship with plants. Symbiotic relationships are common with animals but ours is very important with plants. And basically symbiotic relationships is like basically having a friend. We have a symbiotic relationship because this, we breathe out carbon dioxide after we breathe in oxygen. Plants make oxygen from carbon dioxide. So we're basically helping each other out. Carbon dioxide is a gas that contributes to global warming, also known as climate change. Scientists are working on a carbon trapping is trapping 
carbon in solids such as rock. A great natural carbon trap is the White Cliffs of Dover in England. I think it's important to reduce our carbon footprint, but I think science would help us a lot more to reduce that. I think it's important to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Can reduce by not polluting, taking not long showers, although I like taking long showers. We can reuse by taking an old water bottle and filling it up again. We can reuse reusable plastic bottles today or in the future. <laughs> um, we can recycle by um, taking bottles and making them into like taking an old bottle and making them into a new bottle. We choosing to buy more products that can be recycled or are recycled materials. Thank you everybody for watching. We are wrapping up the experiment. I have an extra lab coat and I'm looking for partners in science experiments. So if you want your child to come down, um, and meet me, we can do that, and your child can be on the video. Stay tuned for more of our episodes. They'll be released on Monday at 4 p.m. Now we're going, now we're wrapping up to the end of our video. And if you like what you saw here, please subscribe.